Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your April mid-month tarot and oracle card reading. This is a reading for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You are going to start off with this particular card right here as the theme of the reading is truth. Okay, that may be about being true to yourself. There may be truth in the situation that comes out. We're going to consult the tarot on that. This one is from the Sacred Destiny. So that's the theme of the reading, truth. I like it. It's solid. It's strong. And I don't feel like it's come out for you before. So let's ask, what advice do you have for Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all? involved with Pisces. We will do a detailed Celtic cross style reading today and then we'll close it out with a couple of different oracle cards. Current situation, the six of wands. Oh god that's great. The immediate influence, the seven of wands. We have 78 cards here so when cards come out together that's remarkable. You have the eight of pentacles and god dang it it just happened again. The eight of pentacles in the subconscious the Nine of Pentacles in the distant past. Interesting. The Queen of Cups in the more recent past. Now, the Eight of Swords is coming towards you, but I'll tell you what, it's not going to do much to you because you're represented by the Wheel of Fortune. You're attracting the lovers. You've got the Two of Wands and your hopes and fears. Oh, my word. The world and the outcome, there is nothing better. This is just getting better by the second. I love this a lot. So you have the fool here. The fool represents your soul and this hero's journey. You have just an incredible lineup, though, when you start to look at this. The person you're attracting is the lovers. You're represented by the wheel, and the outcome is the world. So in the tarot, I'll keep this kind of brief, but your, your soul is represented by the fool. And when the soul meets each major arcana, the soul gets gains more. More, more experience, more things that the soul needs to learn about, so to ascend. So when the soul meets the lovers, the soul meet, learns about choices, but also about love and the, the greatest love of all. I mean, it is, it is everything in terms of love. When the soul meets the wheel, that's when the soul gets fortune, okay? It's the wheel of fortune, not misfortune. And so that's when things happen. That's when action starts to come into play. It's when answers come into questions. But when the soul meets the world, it's receiving every single achievement you've come here to have. It is nirvana. It is fantastic. You have a, an incredible reading here, just this alone. Now, you do have a bit of a jam with that Eight of Swords, but I'm not really that concerned about it. And guess what? I actually know where these go. That's, that's also remarkable. We have Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus is here, Leo is here. We have fire, air, earth, water, all the elements. So how about a brand new beginning? It's time to move forward. That full energy will have you on the edge of your seat. And if it's a new relationship, if you have somebody who's hanging on to you, I feel like it's just like, I keep hearing stage five clinger, but I feel like it's an old relationship or something that's been hanging on to you. It's time to move forward. And so I get that with the eight of swords. Now, if it's you hanging on, I feel like you got somebody better coming in. You have a love here of a lifetime. I mean, you have a, a crazy relationship that's beautiful. And so with that Queen of Wands energy, it's also great loyalty coming in. And so if you were in a relationship where you were like, we loved hard, and but we fought hard, and there were things said that could not be unsaid, and it just stuck, it's it, like I'm telling you, there's somebody here that you will not have that kind of history with. And isn't that better, right? We don't want something that sounds like that. And so if it's a job, though, I do feel like with that Four of Pentacles, he is the miser of the tarot. If you've had jobs where, or even something with money where you were lowballed, okay, you know what I mean by that? Like you weren't paid for your skill sets or you got into a job that required a lot and then you find out somebody working at a sporting goods store is making the same as you. And it's like, well, they, they're stocking and stuff. I mean, not that there's any shame in that game, but it doesn't, it's not demanding. Okay, if you're like a, I don't know, like an EMT, I get like somebody on an ambulance crew. It's something like that where it's like, hey, wait a minute, this is like an incredible amount of pressure and skill. And I just feel like there was something about that. Now, if you were also selling something, though, whether it was a house or a car, I feel like you have new people coming in and it's going to be something that won't insult you in terms of the offering. I just get this feeling of insult like this is not I didn't go to college for this or 
I didn't, you know, have that flooring put in for that kind of an offer, you know, that sort of thing where it's like, no, wait a minute. Um, so I do feel like you have something new coming in. You're right at the precipice of change. The fool is pure potential, but it all begins with your beliefs. It all begins with what you think. The, the, the fool, when the fool is in a reading, does show a big transition coming in. So if you'd almost given up, I feel like you're going to have your second wind and you're going to have it big time here. So with the six and seven of wands, remember the card of truth right in the beginning? I do feel like you're going to have exactly what you want with that six of wands. That's victory and success, but it's also great support. So if you've been out there canvassing, you've been interviewing for jobs and you're like getting mad because you're seeing other people getting jobs that perhaps haven't paid their dues or they have some lucky connection. I mean, sometimes work is that way. It's like networking and connection. I do feel like if especially to you've said, no, I'm up in my networking game. I'm starting to get myself out there in front of different people. I'm telling you what, you're going to have calls. You might have a, a Zoom interview that you go, well, I don't think they liked me at all. They were flat. They weren't interested. Next day, they'll call you. Okay, it's that kind of thing where I feel like your fortitude, your resilience, your grit, it all begins inside. And so with this, it's going to work out. Now, if you've been trying to start something on your own in terms of a business and you've had a bit of a stalemate, I do see you having an opportunity. It seems like with the wheel to me, what I get is like you're going to meet somebody who will say, have you ever tried over here? If it's looking to rent a space or it's looking for, you're looking for some kind of a, <clears throat> even like someone to partner with, I get it that way too. Someone who brings in information to help you. But again, it comes from that seven of wands energy, that sort of you keep going no matter what. Don't quit five minutes before the miracle happens, right? So in your subconscious, you're definitely going to be making gains. You have this eight of two eights here. I would have liked to have seen the eight of wands. I think I mentioned this, but I also like it that the eight came out and then the nine of pentacles came out right after it. So it's just wild to me when these cards come out together like this. It's like, I can't do that. So that Eight of Pentacles has you stacking up those coins. You see that? There's more over here. So your focus is going to pay off. Now, if in the past you bought something that you consider a bit of a luxury item, it came from here. It came and you got a big wave of money and influx, maybe a, a settlement and more, more money than you planned on something. If you did some kind of a contract job or freelance or something and you bought something nice with it, it's showing up in the cards. But this is not going to end, okay? So even if you've had a little lull and you said, God, money was so good two years ago, it's like it's kind of tapered off. It's fine, but it's not like it was. Things are going to pick up back up for you because with this, you're going to keep going with it. Now, <clears throat> in terms of love, this is commitment coming in. This is having that laser focus on your goals. And so whatever those are, know that it's available. There's 8 billion people running around here. Of course, there's one for you. There's dozens for you. And so that belief that you can have, do, or be anything is right here and right now. So the Nine of Pentacles, I mentioned before, this is the card of luxury. It also, too, for somebody here, if you had a job, like I said, that doesn't feel like it's meeting your skill set, meeting the money, it may have started off like an, an offer that you thought, yeah, this is going to be great. This is exactly what I'm looking for. And this, again, it's the card of luxury, attainment, all that good stuff. But I feel like something became a trap. It's like it didn't pan out or it didn't continue on. Now, if, the, if somehow you change jobs after that, if you say, yeah, I wish I could go back to that. No, it was the job before this one. I should have never left. I do feel like you're going to have another opportunity and it's going to move everything forward. And so this Nine of Pentacles card, she also, too, is a single lady. So if you did go through a breakup here and you were just kind of having fun in the meantime and you've had a hard time having this person let go of you because I feel like it's more coming off of them, not wanting to let go of you. And I feel like your best bet is this, just being happy in the meantime. So this Queen of Cups is going to be all about the intuition in this reading. She is a, a card of beauty, creativity, gentleness. She's you and your own energy too which I very much like for you. And so with this Queen of Cups, she's also about self-care and not beating yourself up. If you did have a turn of events because you're coming into that Eight of Swords and you're trying to figure out how you could have prevented it, especially if it's with a person, sometimes that's hard to do. People can be so unpredictable. I've worked at the same place for 25 years and had people I loved until I couldn't stand them. 
I mean, it was like they we just grew farther and farther apart and it got harder and harder to work together. Now, with this, I you know, it's also about, again, taking care of yourself, putting your own oxygen mask on because she tends to do and do and do for other people and doesn't take care of herself. So you got to make sure that you're filling up your own cup. Now for this thing, okay, it's the one bummer card in the reading, if you ask me. Something about this Eight of Swords, to me, it feels more like you're in it right now. Something that has you stuck and trapped and pigeonholed in some way. And so like we were saying, if it is about an ex, I just feel like it's time to make a shift or a change. But there's a lot of fear here and there's a lot of guilt. And so there's also too, perhaps too many people's opinions around you. Or if it's people bringing this person up to you all the time and you're like, I cannot get away from them because you don't let me. I just get this a sense of frustration. Um, and so with this, it's time to break free of it. And it, you know, you're gonna have to figure out how to do that if it's gonna be blocking the person or removing them from their contacts or doing stuff to find things to think about, okay? Because something about this just makes it feel like it's a very confining situation. Now, if it's a job too, where you have the writing is on the wall, they're not going to change or, or, or it's already happened and they're not giving you raises, they're not giving you the commissions or whatever it is that they said they would do. Or like we were talking about before, if it's like you're trying to start a business on your own or moving off and do your own thing like a freelancer and you're going, this is just ridiculous. I keep going down all these rabbit holes to find absolutely nothing. I do feel like you have a new opportunity coming in. I'll tell you where, where it comes from right here, you. This is in the spot of the querent, the name of the querent, that word, is the one who asks, that's you. And so with this wheel of fortune energy, everything evolves, it's energy and movement. And so it picks up, this is where life gets exciting. It's wonderful after the eight of swords, it's one of the best cards you could have because whatever was holding you back is not going to be there anymore. With the wheel, it lets you know when to hang on and when to let go. And in this particular reading, I do feel like the truth is gonna come out. The truth will set you free. I feel like if it's a person, they may end up getting themselves in a bit of trouble. And that may be the real tipping point where it's like, no, you're crossing a line here. You just can't do that in life. Now, if it's a, if it's a business or a, a job kind of a thing, I feel like you're gonna meet somebody new who's going to give you great advice and guidance, okay? This is gonna help you move forward. The wheel is a portal, so is the wreath of victory. You have the wreath of victory, by the way. How about these? I don't mean to just throw the cards around, but you have the wreath of victory here, 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 okay? So whatever it is that you're asking about, they're trying to tell you, you will be victorious. But with this, again, they're both a portal, so meditate, quiet the mind, and then ask. Know that there isn't a, there's no big ask, okay? There's nothing that's too big for this universe. So you didn't come here to play small and you're just not here to do that. And so with the Wheel of Fortune, things are about to pick up and get busy, but it's gonna bring relief. It brings in the answers so that you don't drive yourself nuts asking why, why is this happening or why isn't it? Now the lovers with the Wheel of Fortune is also too where you're gonna meet somebody and I do feel like this other person may have a psycho ex also. There might be something about that that's going to be a commonality. But I feel like it's like a once and done kind of a, you know, you establish that and then you don't live there. You have other things to talk about that are much more interesting. And I feel like, too, their heart just flutters when they think about you. They're having daydreams about you. So if you're asking if you met this person already and you're wondering, am I on their mind? You better believe you are. You are on their mind and in their heart. This is the kind of relationship that if you've not been in one before like this, you're really going to know what the meaning of love is. It's exactly why it's here. This is a fantastic energy. And with the two of wands, twos are about partnerships. This is growing. This is expansion. They also have two, the garden and the magician down here in the corner. So in terms of relationships, partnerships, jobs, it's growth. It's set your intentions. But the world is everything, Okay. This is a very mature energy, this dancer in the center of the tarot. She's open to all experiences. So you're going to have lots of shifts. You're going to have lots of movement forward here, Pisces. This is when your world opens up and you go to the next level. So if it's a job, it's so much better. This also too could be travel or relocating. So I would open up that lens and see what's out there. But in terms of a relationship, I'm telling you what, it can be seeing the world, 
but it's definitely a love that is one that you have not experienced before, okay? Those of you who are single, it's wonderful. So let's see now what the fortune oracle wants to tell you. You've got the card of the owl. There are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition. We said that, didn't we? We said it in the beginning that you're in a stage of transition. All right, and then we've got here, treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply because you get what you think about. So if you have a relationship that ends and you're thinking about how you don't want this person, it keeps attracting more of it. But when you're thinking about the way that you love the people around you and all the good around you, it will shift your energy like nothing else. So good things are on the way for you, Pisces. I love you and I'll be back again soon.